Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I've got Cherie back on my Hi. channel. If you didn't watch our previous video, which was all about becoming a digital nomad and Cherie's story, then definitely go watch that right now. Well, watch it after this one. Um, but just a short introductory of who Cherie is. I won't let her do that again. <laughs> so you've done it once for me. Um, but Cherie is a digital nomad. She owns a business which is... Um, no, you explain. <laughs> I don't want to get anything wrong. No, sorry. no I'm essentially helping people like you transition into the online workspace. So yeah, that's essentially what it is. Yes. <laughs> and just to round up again how we met. So we both met in Bali. We went to an event and we just clicked from there. And yeah, we've just always been like around each other since then. And it's been a great experience. Can't get rid of me. Yeah, literally. <laughs> But it's a good thing. We've really um, just inspired each other, I'd say. Um, so today, today's video, should I say, is all about our experience in Bali. As you all know, we are in Bali, living our best life. It's literally paradise here. And you all know how much I love Bali because I always talk about it. But I want you to hear it from somebody else <laughs> <laughs> this time who's actually here as well. Um, so we're just going to be talking about everything we love about Bali, some things we may not love about Bali, but that's a pretty hard um, thing and then also just like what Bali's taught us as well and what lessons we've learned because we've both we're both solo travelers so we've learned a lot all over the world but there is certain things that I feel like we've probably learned in Bali that we haven't learned anywhere else and then depending on how long the video is we'll probably just get into other things of what we've learned like traveling as a whole or I feel like all the tips that, well, not the tips, all the experiences we're going to share is just what we've learned as a whole anyway. So yeah, let's get started. So I feel like what we should probably do first is say what we love about Bali. <laughs> what don't we love about Bali? Mm -hmm. um, so the first thing that I love about Bali is the food. I am such a foodie and it's really hard to find bad food here. Like, honestly, yeah. isn't it? Like... It's all just amazing and I am um, vegan and there's so many vegan options and there's just options for everyone, no matter what um, what food you eat. No matter what, <laughs> what cuisine your, or yeah. like, yeah, cuisine. Cuisine or your <laughs> dietary anything. requirements. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> that's no, it. <laughs> no matter what your dietary requirements are, there's always something for you and um this, the food here is just very, very high quality and it pretty much costs nothing. Like the average cost for food here is literally like for a really, really good meal in Australian dollars around five, six dollars. So in pounds, that's what, like two fifty, three pounds for like a really, really good meal. So, yeah. And that's if you want a good meal. Like, if you just want an average meal, it's even yeah. cheaper than that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's really amazing. And it all looks really pretty as well, mm -hmm. and I'm a fan of that. <laughs> mm -hmm. And also, just before you continue, I wanted yeah. to say, like, we was discussing this idea a bit earlier, and we feel like a lot of the things we're going to say is going to be the exact same, so we'll probably just end up bouncing off of each other in this video because, yeah, yeah we've got, like, the same loves so yeah, yeah what's the next one <laughs> um the next one that i love about bali is just the vibe like the vibe yeah. and the energy around everyone like even if you're just on your own in a cafe like the energy is just so i don't know what's the I word you, it's just amazing like everyone infectious just, i'd like to say yeah, like everyone feels it it's hard just, it's contagious yeah. yeah it's hard not to feel it and like Sharia just said, even if you sat by yourself in a cafe, just the fact that you can look around, you can see people smiling, mm. you can see people working, like it's so positive and encouraging and, and just, yeah, inspiring. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so many like-minded people. Yeah. And um, yeah, it is honestly amazing. Um, the third thing I love about Bali is, I didn't mention this earlier, but the free events. There is yeah. I I saw oh one my from God. You, but... No, no, you didn't. No, I oh didn't think of that. Yeah. There is oh, so yeah. many free events. So there's free workshops every single day. There's free acro yoga. So I didn't mention that in my daily thing. But um, oh, yeah. there's free acro yoga every Sundays, every Fridays, every Wednesdays. There's free movie nights. There's free, um, you can get free puppies. <laughs> I actually Guys. fostered a puppy for a few weeks. You get free dogs. Um, there's so many. What? I didn't know. 
dogs. What the fuck? Yeah. I've oh, been here so it. long. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, so I fostered um, two little puppies for a few weeks, and if I wanted to keep them forever, I could. Oh, yeah, I saw them. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. So there's so much free stuff. Obviously, there's the beach, and there's loads of different um, ecstatic dance. Like, there's literally so many free things here, and um, you really can't get bored, and you really have no excuses, to be honest, because there's something out there for everyone, which is really, really yeah. good. And just, like, the fact that they're all free blows my mind. The the free events that I've been to, like, you'd expect to pay up to £20 or something for them because they're just that good and the, they've got so much value. And Probably more, yeah. More, yeah, a lot more. I've only been to, like, a few. But, yeah, there's so many events that you'd pay such good money for because the value that you're getting from them is just unreal. And I just feel like that's the reason why people are so happy here because people actually care about the quality of life and they want to give free things like they want to put back into the community and that's something you don't really see everywhere so that's definitely what I love about Bali as well yeah um another thing that I love about Bali is just being surrounded by nature 24 7 like that's really really important to me I wouldn't really call myself a city girl um I've been brought up in cities but I really I connect with the nature a lot so even in this villa now, like we're yeah. surrounded by plants I love it. for two minutes from the beach. Like there's probably like some kind of like mountain. I think, well, Mount Martin is pretty close to here. I don't know. There's probably some like cool like hike that you can do. It's pretty close. And just being five minutes away from like, you know, nature or being pretty much in nature is just amazing. And I don't know. I just feel so much more calm and yeah at peace I don't know yeah, like I just yeah, feel yeah. like I get you do you know what I mean yeah. yeah um so yeah that just kind of grounds me mm-hmm. it's amazing um another thing is this my last one um or have I already done five? Oh, you're on four greedy? you're on four you've got <laughs> two four. more <laughs> oh six we're doing six no we're doing five you said the food you said the nature you said the workshops and that's it Oh, really? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Too much. Oh, okay. So another thing that I love about Bali. Oh, I love that no one wears shoes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. It's, yeah. You just feel so much more grounded and, um, yeah, I love it. There's no pressure. Like, no one looks down on you for anything. And, like, even the clothes that you're wearing. Like you said, we were wearing the same clothes that we wore in the last video. But it doesn't matter. Like, no one cares about all the materialistic things um people just care more about you as a person as opposed to okay is she wearing designer or did she wear that last week um (laughs) her hair's a mess today or her skin's not very good today or do you know what I mean all those materialistic things and um things to do with you know your aesthetics like no one really cares about that which is just amazing you can really be yourself without putting on a front um and yeah go shoeless (laughs) (laughs) shoeless <laughs> Literally. <laughs> um the last thing I love about Bali so Malice could go on to be honest I'm trying to think of a really really good one um that I love oh I just love how spontaneous everyone is here like everyone is so spontaneous like so we live in Changu mm-hmm. and um you know we might decide in the morning, oh, we fancy going to Ubud or do you fancy getting a boat over to Gili Tea or do you want to go to Nusa Panida or... You asked you me want if just... I wanted to come to Uluwatu and I'm here. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah this morning. Um, <laughs> do you want to fly to Singapore? Do you want to, like, everyone's very spontaneous here and that's just amazing that you were the bunch of people that want to do cool stuff because a lot of people, um, you know, back home, for example, if their friend didn't want to do something then they don't want to do it. They're yeah. like, oh, I really want to do this. And their friend's like, I don't want to. So they're just like, okay. And they just don't do it. And um, yeah. That's here, sad. Don't be is. like that. Don't be that Guys, guy. Guys, don't be like that. <laughs> don't be that guy. <laughs> um, yeah, everyone's up for doing stuff here. So um, you never feel alone. And even if you do want to do it alone, like people just do it. And like no one looks at you like you're a weirdo for like doing things alone. Um, and yeah, that's also something that I love. About Bali. Yeah. <laughs> My turn? <laughs> okay, cool. So the first thing I'd say I absolutely love about Bali is the people. Like anytime I see a Balinese person, 
my heart just smiles and I just smile mm. because you just look at them and you just know that they're such good people they've got such like high intentions yeah they've got like just really good intentions and you can just see it shine through them and they just smile at you and it really warms your heart and the fact that they're just so open to a conversation and that's something I never got at home and I was never used to somebody just randomly saying good morning like how are you like how's your day been like this is all simple things that make your day 10 times better that we take for granted and living in Bali has just really shown me that side of the things and I'm a lot more open to it as well so I'm always saying oh hello how are you and it's not like I was rude back home but I'd always just have my head down just getting on with it you know how like city life is um but yeah being in Bali it's just made me really slow down and start to appreciate smaller conversations with strangers you may meet because you never know where that'll take you so yeah I absolutely yeah. love the locals here like this they're just the nicest people I've ever met and they just make me feel so safe and comfortable and I've just got full trust in them mm -hmm. um so yeah that's number one yeah I've never actually felt so safe I've never felt as never. safe as I do never as I am in Bali never Number two, it, the other thing that I love is it's kind of linking on to what I've just said because it's to do with like the locals and just people in general here. And um, I know you wanted to mention this point as well, but so we can go back to it. But it's yeah. just about having trust in people and just feeling safe within people. So, for example, in Bali, they do. When I first got here, I wasn't used to it, and um, but then I started to get used to it. But like when you are staying in guest houses, they'll just let themselves into your room and start like doing the housekeeping I don't know if you've experienced that <laughs> no. No. no everywhere I go they will like you'll go out and you'll come back and your room's clean and it's oh, like you didn't yeah, ask yeah. for that yeah and at first it used to really wind me up because it happened to me in Thailand and my bank card went missing so I just I knew Thailand it's an okay place but I just didn't feel safe with like my stuff around and especially if I didn't ask you to clean my room like why are you coming in so then I had that same kind of attitude in Bali and like when they came in and cleaned the room, I was just like panicking, checking all my stuff. But I can honestly say there's not one time anything has ever gone missing in my room. And there's been times I've just literally nipped, nipped to the shop, didn't think they would come in my room, left all my money, everything out and everything's just in the exact same place. So that's how you know you can really put trust in them and they're just good people. They don't, don't have bad intentions. I don't feel, I haven't had any bad experiences anyway. Yeah, I mean, um, so yeah, I just really feel like I can trust them with anything. Even when I did my visa run, I left pretty much my whole life with my guest house like owner and it, like nothing was touched. So yeah, mm -hmm. I really trust them here. And um, third thing, I would say, ah, why am I acting like I don't have a load of things? <laughs> I can't think off the top of my head. Um, yeah, just... Going back to what Cherie said, the vibe, it's something I've spoke about countless amount of times on my channel, so you guys all know how I feel about the vibe in Bali, but it's just something I've never experienced before, and I just feel so much more productive. Even if you're not doing anything that day, you're just so grateful and just so happy. Like, there's, the amount of times I say in a day, like, I, I'm so thankful for this experience, I'm so grateful. It's just constantly on my mind, and it, I could be doing the smallest thing, like walk into a shop, and I just feel so happy and grateful yeah so I'm yeah I'm really grateful <laughs> how many times I'm gonna say this yeah. <laughs> I'm really grateful okay um so number four would be definitely the culture so before I got to Bali I felt like I knew a lot about the culture like um Hinduism and things but when I got here I realized I didn't know too much and um, but then being here I learned so much and what I would say I absolutely love the most is the fact that they've managed to retain the culture and um, while still having so many tourists and like people just in and out all the time the culture here is still strong so that just shows how they are as people they're not just gonna like adapt or conform to different societies like they're true to themselves and it's just taught me how to be true to myself as well and it, I also want to Oh, I'm starting to talk about like what it's taught me now. Um, <laughs> let me let me hold off because we are going to be also talking about like lessons. But yeah, I'd say I love the culture. Let me just end it there. <laughs> <laughs> I think my last thing is going to be um, just like the how can I word this? Like, there's a lot of variety here, so you'll you'll see villas like what we're in right now, amazing villas. Then you'll have guest houses, then you'll have hostels. So there's just a bit of something for everyone here. So if you are planning on traveling 
you're going to get, look, there's like the best of both worlds. So there's definitely something to suit you and fit your budget and things. But with that being said, no matter where you go, everything is going to be up to standard because I've been asked a few times about like the hostels here. And I personally haven't stayed in hostels, but I can assure you that you've got nothing to worry about because the people here as um, in general, they're just really clean and like you're walking the street and everyone's always sweeping up and stuff like they just keep things to a good standard here. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I would say the standard of living and the quality of living, like people associate here with being a third world country. And of course, it probably is. But this is better than England to me. Like yeah. this is just quality. Yeah. Here. And just to add on that as well, yeah. like I've like when I first moved here, like I think most people do this, but most people stay in like a hotel or the most expensive yeah. place um, at first because they don't really know how to um like what places are best. Yeah. So you think the more money I spend, the better place I'm going to get. But that's not always the case. Like at the moment, so I'm in this villa for a few days, but I actually live in um, a guest house and it's a four bedroom guest house. There's only three of the three of us that live there. And I pay 3.2 mil a month in Australian dollars. That's $320 per month in pounds. That would be about half that's 160 pounds for a month. I have my own cleaner and everything. Like, it's literally ridiculous. Like, everything's squeaky clean. It gets cleaned every day. It's in a really good location. And um, we have puppies. Oh. <laughs> Which, uh, <laughs> that always helps. Okay, guys. So, yeah, that is going to be... Unless you've got any more that you just want to add on now. Uh, no, I think we'll save some yeah. stuff for the next yeah. topic. Yeah. I think more things will come up then. Because we've got another video coming out. We are on a roll. <laughs> <laughs> so because this video is getting quite long, we're actually going to do a part two, which is lessons we've learned. I feel like not only in Bali, I feel like we should just do like travel in general. I think yeah. that would be good. Um, so yeah, we're going to do a part two, which is lessons we've learned whilst traveling. Of course, we will focus on Bali because we're in Bali right now. Um, but yeah, I feel like that video is going to be really insightful for you guys as well. If you are planning on traveling, you can learn from our mistakes and hopefully yeah. not make them yourself. But traveling is all just one big journey and you're going to make a lot of mistakes anyway. So I would encourage you to make mistakes. But if you just want to hear about our stories, then yeah, stay tuned for the next video. Stay tuned <laughs> <laughs> or else. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's the end of this video. Um, you can follow Cherie at sheree.francis so s-h-i-r-e-e -E dot f-r-a-n-c-i-s sheree.francis give me a follow guys Hi. and we'll see you in our next one bye, bye. <laughs>